What's going on guys? It's Mr. Aflac9916 and welcome back to the MLB 16, the show Road to the Show here with Jack Davis. We got a good episode for you today. We are going to figure out if I make the All-Star team. Also, we are going to go for 50 saves in our career. Obviously, we're in the 20s for this season, but trying to get to 50. So potentially two big things going on in this episode. I want to apologize first off. The last episode, my voice sounded kind of funny. Um, I, I've been a little stuffed up the last few days, but I think I placed my microphone backwards, so apologies for that. Hopefully everything sounds better today. Uh, I'll go over it before I upload it. Um, if it still sounds funny, let me know, and uh, I'll look at my settings and try to see what's going on. But either way, into the game, playing against Los Angeles Dodgers. For those of you that were with my channel last year, you know I've played a lot of games in this ballpark, and this game goes well as we get the save, starting out the episode with a save. 24 for 28 on the year now and 48 saves so still seven minutes left in this episode and a chance to uh get the save we didn't get 50 saves we didn't play in the all-star game and as you can see guys we didn't make it to the all-star game what a snub and aj fizzler who plays on my team as a relief pitcher made it no saves for him his era is lower he has 67 strikeouts but 68 innings pitched i only have 33 innings pitched 34 strikeouts and 24 saves. I mean, come on, I'm the closer. They really should have me in the All-Star game and not him. I That's really, really disappointing in my opinion. Padres put me above him, so the All-Star voters should as well. And I completely got snubbed, but whatever. I guess I'm not going to make it this year. I guess we'll have to wait one more year to try to get ourselves into that All-Star game. Playing against the Diamondbacks in our next game, we're already losing, so it won't be a save opportunity. And the Diamondbacks are going to get a base hit to start out the top of this ninth inning. We are only down by one run, so I want to try to not let them score, keep the Padres in the game. Of course, that'll uh, help me out personally as well. We fall behind the next batter 2-0. We're going to come back with a pitch that he hits on the ground, and it ends up being a double play. You guys can't really see it because the camera glitched out right there. It didn't really show it. But it is a double play and a good rebound after the base hit to uh, come back and get two outs. Then the next batter on a 1-2 count. We're going to get him to hit a line drive to right field. Unfortunately, that is just past the first baseman. That is going to be a base hit. So the second hit of the inning for the Diamondbacks. Luckily, though, all there is is a runner on first. And the next batter on 1-2, we get him to strike out with the curveball. We got our redemption with a 1-2 curveball yet again right there. That time it was for a strikeout. And we get a inning of no run so coming into our next game as you can see that era sitting about 3.12 i'm trying to get it below three i want to finish the season below three i think it was at 3.7 my rookie year hopefully be a little lower than that this year playing against arizona again this time we lead by one run so i want to get the save first batter for arizona is going to line this one in the left field that one goes all the way to the wall he's going to round first head for second here comes the throw and it's going to be off the line and late so the Diamondbacks get a double to start this one out. It's going to be a tough save. Can Jack Davis hold on? Next batter, 1-1 one, one count. He's going to fell off a fastball. Count goes to 1-2. and two. We're going to go off speed pitch, trying to get a strikeout. We need it, and we get it. A great job by Jack Davis with the curveball. Again, a batter to swing and miss. This is where it helps to be a strikeout pitcher, guys, when you got a runner on second with only one out. Now all we have to focus on is getting this out, and we won't have to worry about any sacrifices or anything like that. As you can see, we're going to miss with that curveball low in the dirt, trying to go for the strikeout. It ends up going all the way to 3-2. We get him to hit it on the ground. It's going to be fielded by the shortstop. Quick turn and throw to first, and he gets it. So a nice job there by Jack Davis. Get in the second out, and now we can just focus on getting that final out and holding on for the save. First pitch to the batter is going to be a swing and a miss. As you can see, three runners left on for each team. We're going to try to make that four for Arizona right here. 1-1 one, one count. We're going sinker outside and low. This one we missed right in the middle. We get really lucky that he only fouled that one off. It's not a good hitter. But on 1-2, we're going to go to the curveball, trying for another strikeout, and we get it. We freeze him on the curveball, and a fantastic save for Jack Davis, number 49 of his career. A great job after the leadoff double to uh, stay calm, come back, and get the save. That is a really, really, really uh, good mark for him right there. So going to work on some training points. Our, our Four seam velocity has already fallen two points this year. We're going to work on that. We're going to work on a few things. Um, I end up not training them right there, but you can see what I'm trying to get back. Uh, since I don't really get many appearances, I don't get a ton of training points to get better. It's really disappointing. Uh, just another reason uh, 
I need to get off the Padres. People are still commenting for me to get traded. Um, I'll repeat it again for those that haven't heard before. What I want to do is wait till I'm like 90 overall, because if I'm only 80 overall, I might get traded to some team that has a closer, and then I won't be able to be a closer. I'd rather be the starting closer for San Diego than just some setup guy or some relief guy for, you know, a good team like Houston, which I think is number one ranked here in 2018 on this season, as we're going to get a pop out against the Yankees to start this game out. But that's kind of what I want to do. And, you know, what that will also allow is if the Padres do start to get better, you know, we're 30th overall. But if we're up 20th, 15th in two or three years when I'm still here, I might want to stay because we're getting better. And, you know, we're building a team with the Padres. And that might be something that's in my interest. So we'll kind of see what happens. I want to give it some time rather than try to jump ship now where I won't even be able to be a closer. When I win my World Series, I want it to be as a closer. And that's kind of what I'm going for. But. Either way, the next batter for the Yankees is going to get a base hit. So a runner on first, <clears throat> excuse me, with one out, sinker to the next batter to start out this at bat. He's going to just chop that one foul 0-1. Next pitch is going to be a broken bat, and the first baseman comes over to make the play. Nice play by the first baseman. Didn't get distracted by the fact that there's a wooden bat flying at your face. Hey, he goes over and uh, makes the play. Let's take another look at that one. The bat actually flew down the third baseline, so that wasn't a concern, but still heads up baseball by the first baseman. Feeling a pop-up. He had to react pretty quickly there, so a nice play right there. Now we got two outs, 0-0 count, first pitch with two outs. The runner goes to second throw, and we tag him out. That's a way to get your 50th save right there on a stolen base attempt that the catcher throws out. So special thanks to the catcher in this episode for getting my 50th save, 26th of the year. That's really exciting, and our ERA drops below three, which is where I want to be. For the season staying below three so playing against the cardinals in our next game going for save number 51 this will be the last opportunity of the episode first pitch is going to be a ball on the outside we bring the count back to three and two batter hits it on the ground first base over to me i'm a little offline and i tag the batter who's running the first out for the out what a play right there i've really uh Kind of struggled getting over to first on a lot of those plays. That's something I'm still learning. I almost messed that one up, but luckily I was able to apply the tag for the first out. Next batter comes in. It's a 1-1 count to him. We're going to get him to hit a ground ball. I'm quickly over to first this time, but no need for me there as we get the out. There's now two gone here in the bottom of the ninth. So the next batter comes in. First pitch to him is going to be a curveball. We missed low in the zone. We tried to land that one in there for a strike. Count ends up going to 2-0, trying to come back with a strike here. It's going to be a sinker that he hits on the ground. Shortstop fields. Strong throw to first. He gets him by a half of a step, and that's going to be at the Padres' win. And Jack Davis gets his 27th save of the year and 51st of his career. So... The bad news in this episode, guys, we didn't make the all-star team. I think we should have. The good news, we did pass 50 saves in our career, a cool little milestone. I want to thank everybody for watching this episode. I know also that I said I had a special surprise coming. That's going to have to wait um, due to circumstances that I cannot disclose quite yet. That should be coming up hopefully by before my New York trip. I'll keep you posted on that. But for now, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe if you want to follow Jack Davis on his quest to win the World Series. And... For more stuff, we'll see you next time. I'm Mr. Affleck9916. Peace.